one of the oldest series in college football. And out of the tunnel to our left, here come the Golden Gophers. Lloyd Carr, eighth season as the head coach at Michigan. You see his numbers, almost an 80% winning percentage. Won the national championship in 97. And on the near sideline, an alumnus of Ohio State, Glenn Mason. He is in his sixth year as the head coach here at Minnesota. Also president of the American Football Coaches Association. Chris Perry and B.J. Askew are the two gentlemen in the backfield, and we'll see Perry first. Goes at left tackle, he'll have maybe a yard before Darrell Reed steps up and makes it hit. They say the ball is loose, and still no signal from the official. Recovered by Minnesota. Eli Ward, who is said to be the best of the defensive players, makes the recovery, so a fumble by Perry on the very opening play, and the Golden Gophers with a golden opportunity. Ron, Perry has an ankle injury last week, so he's starting this, this ball game instead of B.J. Askew, who started last week. Minnesota gets a huge break early. Assad abdul Khalik. He, too, has been banged up a little bit. They fake the reverse. It goes straight ahead with the handoff. And inside the 15-yard line is uh, Terry Jackson, the second. Both freshmen, but they have really improved. Straight ahead, Jackson hit as he crosses the 11-yard line. Carl Diggs is the man who makes the tackle. And it's Lasur over on the other side. On third down, Abdul Khalik running for his life. He's going to be sacked at the 15-yard line. Good pressure by the middle, Lazarus and also Shante Orr getting the pressure on. Nystrom, he is 11 of 12 from field goals. 32-yard attempt here, and he splits it. That is right down the middle. So we'll take a timeout, and it is Minnesota who gets on the scoreboard first. in the pocket this time throws back to the left again has his man open and he completes it to Gonzalez and it's going to be over midfield and a first down for Michigan counted up at 24 yards the Mars you can see under center this time and they go with the draw play and that is Askew and he will fight his way still fighting his way down close to the 41 yard line and Askew in motion, they give it to Perry, hurdles a man, and it's going to go down hard at the 31-yard line as he got tripped up. Jopperu in motion, they'd like to go to him, but he's shallow over the middle, the deep pass, got it complete for the first down at the 19-yard line, Ronald Bellamy. Good for 16 yards, nice throw by Big John Navarro. Six of 16 this year, cumulatively, this is Finley. And plenty of distance on this one, and he missed it. He pushed it to the right. Six to 17. Wow. And the adventure continues. It's the way. And Finley was unsuccessful on the run. Pass incomplete, and wow. What a hit. That's Victor Hobson on Terry Jackson, the second. And the head coach, we mentioned in the lineups tonight that the, the head coach said that he's not sure he's seen a better linebacker at Michigan since he's been there. Well, when he said he arrived at Michigan, they had a linebacker, Mel Owens, that played for the Rams. He said the Hobson's is the best he's had since he's been there. Grinning, a snap way over his head. Michigan coming pell-mell with the pressure, and he does a smart thing. He comes down to recover it at the 14, and they had a bad snap last week against Ohio State, and one of the things that helped harpoon him. Now, there is a flag down, and that could be holding against Minnesota because they tried to tackle one of the outside rushers. Holding on the offense. Still lose decline. First step. What you tell your kicker to do is try to scoop the ball up and not fall down. Third down. They need to take it down to the four. Deep in the pocket. Great protection. Got a man. Touchdown. That's Ronald Bellamy. So we'll take a timeout. 341 left in this opening quarter. Wolverines go on top. 7-3. to three.
So the Barn Company set up shop. Pass thrown complete to the tight end, Jopru. Gets by one tackler, 40, 45. He's at midfield, and you see what I mean. He is an outstanding tight end because he's a big target at 6'5", 250. As they battle for the Little Brown Jug, Michigan and Minnesota at the end of the opening quarter. It's the Wolverines on top by four. DeBar, draw play. Five, has ten. This is Askew, and he fights his way down inside the 30-yard line. A gain of 17 yards. DeBar, everybody out. That man open, and he hits him. Jump through the tight end. He'll have the first down and more. It goes inside the 15 and down to the 12. Ken Williams defensively, but it's a gain of 14. Perry, Askew in front, cuts it up inside the 10. He's down close to the six-yard line. And right at the 22-yard field goal attempt. Adam Findlay. He got it, but he was squeezing on the right side of that upright. Let's take a break. 10-3, our new score, Wolverines. Second down. They need to take it to the 34. And the bar, deep drop, near sideline, got it to Bellamy. Breaks the tackle, going to have the first down, and he will be close to the 40-yard line. So it's second down and 10. Edwards again in motion. Got him in wide open over the middle, and that's Jopper, the tight end. Not going to get by the safety, Eli Ward, but he is down inside the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 25, and man, three catches, 58 yards. Good counterplay, and now they come with a reverse. They get one block. This is Bellamy. Gets another block from his quarterback, and is going to be knocked out of bounds around the 20-yard line. It's good for 18 yards, and right now Lloyd Carr is pulling out all the stuff. Perry back into the short side of the field. Good block at the 10, at the 5, and he spins. Touchdown, Michigan. And B.J. Askew with an outstanding block to pave the way on that 16-yard run. Going. Mike, talk about the last two plays in the blocking. Now they just cave him in on the reverse. Bellamy gets a nice block right there. Look at Navarre. John Navarre blocking <laughs> downside. Now watch on the touchdown run. Michigan's linemen stand tall, just creating a open hole for Perry to get in the end zone. They're manhandling Minnesota's defense. Both of those plays, it almost looked like Michigan had 15 on the field and Minnesota had about eight. Aaron Hosek, very quiet young man. Play action, got a man wide open, just a little too tall for UTech, the tight end. 120 yards rushing per game. Third down, a hit from behind, gets his pass away, and it's almost intercepted as Marlon Jackson came over, and he would have taken that one the distance as Bowman was uh, after the quarterback and catching him from behind. Preston Greening. Well, this play, he's going to throw the ball. Got a man wide open, completes it 35, 30, inside the 25, and that's Eli Ward. We talked about he may be the best player on the team, and he shows right there his versatility. Ron, I like to call because everything's dead in here. Now you bring the crowd into the football game. Your team gets excited. You take a chance right there, and it's a good play called by Glenn Mason. Eli Ward catches the football. And... Ninth play of the drive by Minnesota. Pressure over the middle, and ball is intercepted. John Shaw. Good interception, Ron. That's exactly what you teach a defensive back. Go up and get the ball at its highest point. Grant Bowman is the man. Watch the pressure. That's Bowman right there who knocks him down, and he did have a man momentarily, but Shaw cuts right in front and makes the pick. Timeout, 17-3, to and the Wolverines on top. And they have the ball now at the 34-yard line, and you can bet uh, Coach Carr not real pleased about either turn of events. No, Dave Ryan talked about the first half penalties start out the third quarter. Big opening, has five, has ten. He's in the secondary. Jackson reverses 15 inside the 10, and it's first and goal, Minnesota. Back in the first quarter. Now plus five. Play action. Got a man open. Did he throw it in time? Yes, he did. Touchdown, Patterson. Marlon 
Jordan Jackson is the man that he beat. Third down, they need to take it all the way to the 15-yard line. Deep in the pocket, here comes the pressure. Bowman throws it for the end zone. It is caught, and they will score the touchdown turns. And there is a flag down at the three. Penalty's going to be on Michigan. Charles Drake in the second there. May have, maybe a face mask or a hold. Seven yards. Take a look. 606 left in the third quarter, and we are tied. Go for 17, Wolverine 17. We'll be right back. Play action to Perry again, and the pass out in the flat. Got to complete to Askew, and BJ's going to take it up close to the first down. In fact, I think he has it. As we talked at halftime about the atmosphere in the dome and how it was almost like a morgue. It was so quiet. Askew has five, has ten, hurdles a man, goes out of bounds, and he's going to have a gain of 13 yards in the play. Play action sets deep in the pocket. Going to go deep over the middle, and there is Edwards. 20, 15, inside the 10, and it's first and goal, Michigan. Justin Isom saved a touchdown, but that's the young man I talked about in the first half. Good from 22, and missed from 34 earlier tonight. And he knocks this one home, so we'll take a break. 3.26 left, and the Wolverines go back on top, 20 to 17. Fourth punt, it's actually the fifth time that they've done it, but the first one, snap went way over his head. It's a beauty this time, and they have blocked it. Picked up by Michigan inside the 15 and down to the 10-yard line, and it's blocked Pierre by Woods. number 90 time. Pierre Woods, run. He got it. He came scot-free. Calvin Bell made the recovery. You see him come right up inside. Nobody blocked him. Pierre's pretty good size, 6'5". Mike, he almost could have tackled him before he got the <laughs> kick away. He's so far in there. So the punting game... Has already cost him one touchdown, and let's see if it cost him a second one. Michigan with a first and ten. They can get a first down without scoring. The ball just outside the ten-yard line. Short drop looking for the end zone, and the pass is caught by Edwards. Touchdown. Ken Williams good position and he just went up over him and the officials had to look and make sure that he had a foot down. That's where the size of Braylon Edwards comes yep. in handy. Yep, he got that, what was it, his left foot. See, we, he comes down right here and that is inbounds. Touchdown, Edwards. Jim Herman, defensive coordinator with a good plan. Now straight in the pocket this time, zings it right over the middle and has it complete at the 40-yard line, or was it taken away? It was taken away by LeSeur. Patterson looked as though he had the football, and then LeSeur just robbed him of it. Him. Ball thrown a bullet by Kalik. Oh, it went right through his hands, I see. And then they battled for it, and Lasur came away. He's got good hands. Joplin in motion. Blitz comes right up the middle, but they pick it up, and the pass is complete again to Edwards. And Edwards gets what he can, and then goes down at the 22. It's good for 13 yards. Askew, big opening inside the 20, bites his way down close to the 15-yard line. Campbell combining with West to make the tackle. Got another first down. At ten quick points late in the third quarter to go back on top. And it's Askew right at the middle at the ten, at the five, and down at the one-foot line. The book in motion. Askew.
Matthew, left side, by Tard at the two, at the one. Still no, here we come with a signal. Touchdown, Michigan. Askew would not be denied. This offensive line of Michigan has taken over this football game. And the mistakes in the kicking game by Minnesota. Ray rolled the pocket this time to the right. Abdul Khalid gets a block. Well, he's beyond the line of scrimmage, so he takes it as far as he can. And John Shaw will run him out of bounds. Side by side with some of these guys, but, but also uh, Lazarus. You know, he's got 37 games he's played in and 32 starts. That hit behind the line of scrimmage on third down by Diggs, and he's not going to have the first down. Fourth down. Here comes the option, and he trips. Because of the penetration, it gets knocked down by Lazarus. One of those veterans I was just talking about for the Wolverines, and it'll be Michigan taking over the football with 11-22 left to play in the ballgame. Yeah, good penetration, like you said. Jim Herman knew the option was probably coming. So we'll take a timeout. 34-17, Wolverines in command right now. Time left, but if BJ Askew has gotten hot at the tailback spot, and they're running the ball so they can eat the clock up. Askew bounces it outside to the right, has five, has ten, and he's off and running. 30, 20, nobody's going to catch him. Askew, 60 yards for the touchdown. Well, that's better than eating the clock. Askew is just a uh, had a pretty good night, pretty good blocking by the offensive line. Minnesota's defense can hold up. Playing the best football. Ball is chipped, and it is intercepted by Michigan. And down at the 24-yard line, Sarantis. Since this youngster came in the ball game, he's played uh, extremely well. I think Patrick Massey got a hand on it, 94. Yeah, he's the one who tipped it right there. Well, Michigan's defense had a couple lapses. Impressive ball game. 36-yard field goal attempt. Got the distance and does not have the accuracy. Oh, it's amazing. Well, good fundamental football team. They go with the running play. Left side. Touchdown. And Terry Jackson. Okay, Dave. Good hustle there. And Yogi Berra said it best. <laughs> and over till it's over. That's right. It's over. Ten seconds down to nine. This string is now going to go to 14 games in a row that Michigan will have defeated the Golden Gophers of Minnesota. And the clock has run out. Final score, Michigan 41 and Minnesota 24. Coming up next is SportsCenter. For more, log on to ESPN.com, your home for college football on the Internet.